Councilman Dr. Alan Jackson Jr. is inviting you tomorrow to an open community meeting with guests like Police Chief Wayne Smith and Fire Chief Clarence Reese, who are also among the list of special guests. Topics like public safety, economic standards will be on, some of those things will be discussed at that meeting and they can expect to hear more of. Dr. Jackson, we have talked about this meeting behind the scenes and um, it's a pretty big deal. Absolutely. Within your first 100 days of you, know, you overseeing this, tell me about that. How has that been and what are you hearing? So it's, it's been great. Um, the main thing is knowledge is, is so critical. So I want to make sure my district is properly informed and I want to be the one to inform them. Uh, I believe that the information we have changes our perception. It becomes our reality and then we act on our reality. So imagine if you're acting on wrong information. Imagine if you're feeling negative about street reports simply based on just bad information. So I want my district to make sure that they have the proper information and I want to be the one to disseminate that information to them. Now, bad information as far as what regards? Are you talking about um, the crime that's happening right now? Yeah, or is absolutely. it just a so, mixture of everything? So it, when you think about crime and, and crime statistics, uh, I believe now that crime is more prevalent because we push it out more. You know, anytime crime happens, it's on our phone, it's on our emails, um, it, it's just all in our face. So it gives us the perception that, that crime is escalating. Um, when um, in our district, crime statistics has, is down. And so, and, and we'll actually have those numbers for um, my district tomorrow. Um, so that's important to know what the numbers look like and what type of crime. Do we have random crime? Or a lot of these crimes are designed for or, or focus on people that know each other. You know, we have domestic violence, we have crime that's linked to the drug game. And so if you take away these uh, targeted incidents, is report safe? And so we want to actually look at those numbers so we can actually change the perception of the people that live in, and live in my district. Now, Dr. Jackson, I know for a fact that I've been reporting on a lot of these um, crime related activities that have been happening and you're telling me that there's not been an increase or a surge that it's pretty steady for you guys right now, according to the numbers. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the last crime report that came out for our district, we've pretty been steady. Um, there's there has been an increase in, in some petty crime as far as, as, as far as yeah, as far as um, break ins. Um, so uh, we recently had uh, some break-ins at the at the hospital at Willis Knighton, um, but crime has been steady. You know, however, it is a concern. You know, people don't feel safe, and so we want to talk about things on things that council is doing right now to, in order to help people feel safe. And one of those things that we're um, we're going to be doing is putting up more cameras. Um, we believe cameras and AI is going to be the future in order to help everybody not only feel safe but actually be safe. Um, with our officers being down so many. Um, we have to aid them in, in other technology, and we believe technology is going to be our key to helping um, crime. And you were also telling me um, before we just came on that um, it is your plans that you kind of want to change that. Within your first 100 days, you were looking to change the outlook for Shreveport. A absolutely. So when, when we think about the perception of Shreveport, um, and we talk about social media, and we talk about so many people in Shreveport have so many followers. So I'm very keen on what everybody thinks. You know, I don't want to just talk about people that agree with me. You know, tomorrow's meeting, I want to hear their concerns. I don't want to just be giving information. I want them to share information with me. I'm hoping to that we can partner with everybody in my district so they'll feel confident about Shreveport and that we can start promoting that. Because until we start promoting Shreveport's best, we're going to continue to um, open that door where criminals feel like they don't care, so I can do what I want. I mean, I'm here for it. I'm here to, to talk about the positivity, you Absolutely. know, that Shreveport is pushing back on because I know um, that it isn't all dark. I Absolutely. personally know that. So I appreciate you being here today. Again, tell me a little bit more about this event. Uh, it is tomorrow, April 19th. At 6 p.m. at Southern Hills Park, Southern Hills Community Center. Um, so it's open to the public, um, but it's primarily for anybody that lives in District E. Okay, awesome. And then real quick, again, Celebrate Earth Day, and how can we help with that? Because I know you have another uh, cleanup day coming up as well. Yes, so we have cleanup day on Saturday. Um, it's part of the Love the Boot initiative. 
which is the largest statewide cleanup um, in Louisiana. So the Southern Hills uh, Neighborhood Association has registered. We want everybody to register um, because we're, we're tracking how many different um, groups we're having all over Louisiana that's cleaning up. But it's one way that we're leading by example. Um, Southern Hills wants to lead by example. People keep saying how dirty Shreveport looks, so we want to lead by example. We also want to send a message that um, it's not on city leadership. You know, the, uh, the city Amen. leadership is, is not the one that's dirtying up that's our right. neighborhood. That's um, right. So we want to take responsibility and we want to clean up our own Everybody mess. has a part. Absolutely. Everybody can do something. Absolutely. So if you Absolutely. can't donate, you can show up and you can give your time because, Absolutely. you know, the trash, you know, in the area, it's everyone's problem. Right. Not just if you live down there, you know, if you drive on this street, it's everyone's problem. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Jackson, you. for Thank joining you. us. We'll be right back. Thank you.